Hello, this is Hui. Welcome to watch my video, C++ Programming on Linux. In this short video, we are going to discuss protocol buffers utility. The example of this video, we are going to use the JSON conversion utility to make a conversion between the protocol buffer message and the JSON strings. Protocol buffer package contains various utilities. The JSON conversion is one of these utilities. The JSON conversion utility is a function to convert between the proto buffer binary format and the proto3 JSON format. The two utilities in this example, we are going to use a message to JSON string and the JSON string to message which is uh, this one is the convert message to JSON string. This one from JSON string convert to the message. Here on the Linux, the example, we start from the dot proto files. We are going to use in preview videos example, purchase order proto message files. So this um, message include order. Order has three fields. It's ID, wonder, and item. And the item is repeatable, and the uh, ID is required, and the uh, wonder is optional. So for the order item, we have uh, item code, item description, and the uh, quantity and the price. So item code and the quantity is required, and uh, the item description and the price is optional. So we save this. And the first step, using protocol buffer message, we have to compile. So this protocol compiler command generates a C++ file in current directory, and the input is our order protocol, which we defined our message here. So this compiling generates two files, order.pb.h, order.pb.cc. This file is defined all the object of a purchase order and the purchase order item and all the methods that's required for this package. We usually not touch this at all. We just include in our applications. So first, we write a program called writejson.cpp. In this file, we have to include order.pb.h, which generate from the product compiler. And uh, what we have tried to do is our program to generate the JSON files. So first, this uh, Google Proto Buffer Verify version. This is optional. Just uh, compare if uh, Proto Compiler version is compatible against uh, version of uh, headers. This other optional is at the end of the file, which is shut down the Proto Buffer libraries. And uh, we first instantialize the purchase order, which is called my order. And the my order has a ID, so we have a set ID method and a set wonder method. And we have a add item method because the item is uh, repeated. So we add item. Each item, we set an item code, item description, item quantity, and item price. After we set up all the items, and my order has a three order items, cappuccino one, and hot tea three, and we try to write it into the file. So to write it into the file as normal, we centralize the output of the file, which is the output, and we truncate, and then the name is from the argument one, which is from command line. If the file is not open, we just write a field to open the files. Otherwise, we can start the process conversion to write output. First of all, we have to define string The data and this is the JSON string we are going to convert it. So we centralize our pointer of my message, which is the message of purchase order defined from our proto file. And after that, we have to use the method parsing from string of this purchase order. Using the method for my order serialize as string. So this convert my order into the my message. After that, we can use our utility message to JSON string. This, this message to JSON string needs three parameters. One is the message, 
So the I message signal one is the output string, which is the data, and the third one is the JSON option. So we define our JSON option because it's OPT. So we set up this equal true. It means when we print out this string, it is good looking. Otherwise, there will be whole JSON string in one line. So after that, we got our date. We just print our date into our files. After that, we close the files. This is a way to convert our message to the JSON string. So now let's save this file. We make our right JSON. So now we got our JSON file compiled. We run our file. So now you can see we can create our JSON file. ID is 101, vendor is Starbucks, and the item 1 is 501, hot coffee, we order 2, and the price is 285. The second item is 502, it's hot cappuccino, we order 1, and the price is 345. And uh, we order 503, it's hard tea, quantity, and 255. This is one way we convert to my order to the JSON files. Now we try to write a read JSON.cpp. We still include our order.pp.h, which generated from protocol compiler. And we have to include also JSON underscore util.h, which we order to use utilities. So the program we're going to use is my program and the input a JSON file and we convert to the message, protocol buffer message, and then we print out. So first create a string stream called my SS and initialize a line, which is a string. And as a very, very simple, we open an input file, we call the input. And if a file is open, and we continue read a line by line into ISS, which is the string stream. And I finish the reading, we close the files. After that, we come here to start processing JSON convert to message. So first we have to do, we define the order, called my order. We are going to define the message, called my message, which is a new purchase order, which is the purchase order message. We are going to use it. JSON string to message to convert string, which is the code from the my string stream to the str, which is the first parameter, which is the string, and the second parameter is message. And after that, we have to convert my message to the purchase order. So my order object will be copied from my message. After that, we can just uh, use a simple print out my orders. So what do we do? We print my order, which is my order dot ID. We have my order ID and my order dot vendor and my order dot item. We make a loop. Each loop we print an item code, item description, quantity, and price. So after that, we just uh, finish our program. Let's save this, we recompile. Now my read JSON is got compiled. Let's verify. I make a two terminal. The right one, this is our JSON file. So we run our program. It's my read JSON, my order.json. This is my order.json. So you can see when we pass from our JSON to the my order object. We print out the JSON is 1001, name is Starbucks Toronto, name is Starbucks Toronto, item 501, hot cafe 2, 255. 502 is 1345. So this is 3255. It's hot tea, hot tea 3255. So if we make, if we make a change of here, we change this quantity to the two. If this is my JSON file, if we run this again, you can see here my cappuccino from one 
became two. So this is the way we do the conversion between the message and the JSON string. Hello, this is Hui. Thanks to watch my video. Hopeful this is useful, enjoyable. It's going to be great to have your feedback. Thanks.